Hi everyone, I'm Susan with Pigtail Quilting and Stitching. Welcome to my channel. On this video, you're gonna see a little spring tour of how I uh, decorated my living room and dining room with my spring or pastel quilts. I do have some of my vintage finds uh, used in decorating, such as my, you know, my Pyrex bowls, some of my McCoy pottery, and uh, some of my vintage quilts. So come along with me and I'll just give you a little uh, tour of how I decorated for spring. So let's get started. So I want to give you a spring tour and just kind of show you how I've used my quilts in my living room and dining room um, for spring. So I'm just going to walk in and I'm going to first show you the armoire where I've kind of changed out my quilts and put on my spring and uh, pastel -y kind of quilts. sun has come out now it's kind of nice it's been kind of overcast and we have snow so uh, this is in April and um, we do have spring snowstorms so this is a little bit before Easter but I just kind of wanted to give you uh, just a little bit of a, a spring quilt tour of how I have used some of my um, spring quilts in decorating There's my stitching chair when I'm up here. I have my magnifier light, magnifying light. <laughs> and um, my chair and I keep my quilt or my cross stitch supplies in this little drawers next to it. So on the couch, I have, it's a, a little panel, and I just had it quilted and put binding on it and put it on the back of my couch. But I could use it as a, a, a large, you know, table runner. It has some other blocks on it too, but it's, it's pretty cute and it looks kind of reproduction vintage. And then on this little round, uh, pedestal table. I also have a little table topper in the same fabrics that I just kind of um, add a little border to and had it and bound it and had it quilted. Have some of my little cross stitch. So put some of my little McCoy pottery and some more button cards, because I really like button cards. I've been working on a lot of these little uh, Lori Holt uh, stitch cards, and I've done that one a while back, but I've got several more done that I'm either gonna make pillows out of or uh, ha little frames.
kind of see that snow out there. We've got quite a bit. A lot of moisture in it. It's pretty heavy, but it's always nice to get it. Another quilt and a chair. And the hatch. See if I can get over here. And um, on the back of the hutch, there is a little wool piece I did. I don't do very much wool, but this was one of my first pieces that I did. And it has a lot of patterns that kind of go on this tray that you can kind of change out. A little Muffy in her little uh, bunny suit. Some more cross stitch. And I've been making some covered buttons too. And I did kind of change out above here. Kind of see that. So, another little hoppy bear. Sitting on a little chair, and then the little another hoppy with her little Easter carrot dress that I showed. I'm going to show you too what I did for my little quilt, my quilt friends too. Kind of show you over here. I didn't really show you over here. I have some more button cards. little teacup, teapot quilt by Lori Holt. It was a kit. The fabric ties on there. You can hear my grandfather clock <laughs> chiming. I'll show you over here. This way over here. These little eggs that I have in the three-tiered tray, and I have a couple of places in my living room I got at Hobby Lobby, and they seem to go with all my reproduction um, spring quilts. I have some also above there, too. So I'm just going to show you around the dining room a little bit. And turn here, and I put my jadeite that I had moved upstairs, and I put it up here. I don't have a lot of pieces, but um, just the little few that I have, I kind of enjoy decorating with them. another quilt there for the season and then I also changed um, the table 
quilt that I have. This is um, a vintage grandmother's flower garden that has a different kind of shape. I think it was made for like a poster bed. Um, it's hand quilted because it has the four sides that hang down. So I, I kind of figure it's maybe made for the, a, a bed and hung down, but that's just what I was thinking. And I have my little flower sack embroidered towels that a friend of mine made. I had those in my sewing room and I moved them up for the spring. And then I moved some of my bowls in at the, my three tiered tray too for spring. And here's a bowl with uh, some of the vintage blocks that weren't being used for anything. And over here, I just have some more quilts in the bottom, the vintage ones. And over here, more of those quilts. And then I did change the, the quilt on my ironing board. You can kind of see back into my living room from my dining room. And then where I had uh, my broken dish quilt with the red trim, I have one with the pink trim and I made a fabric bow for it. This was one that my mother had made and when we sewed together and I had it downstairs in my sewing room in the closet over a door and for spring I moved it up here and put my one with the red border back where this one was. And that's a fabric bow that was made with two eight inch widths of fabric like I did in the tutorial a few videos ago. I'll just kind of spin around here and kind of see my living room. Just kind of get that anxious for the spring and the nice warm weather that's coming. We have a quilt show in our quilt guild coming up at the end of this month, so I have um, been busy getting ready for that. And we'll put a few quilts in also. Just do one more little turn. The quilt on the couch is a, a log cabin made with uh, strips of reproductions. The quilt on the ottoman is a vintage flower garden quilt. You can see it's pretty faded. And, but it is hand quilted. This quilt on the end of my couch was a kit from Moda, I think by uh, called Rue 1800, I believe is the title of that quilt. go. Oh. 
I just want to uh, show you what I'm doing for my quilting friends. And this is going to go in. Actually, I'm going to take it in today. Uh, but it's a little little treat, little Easter treat. And I've got little Muffy Bear's friend, Hoppy. And she's got her little Easter dress on and hat. So I just got this little chocolate carrots and we'll bring those for uh, my quilting friends. So I just wanted to show you before I, I bring them. I've been sharing with you uh, some of the things I do seasonally just to, for fun. And um, this is one of them too. It's not much spring day here today. We have a lot of snow, but pretty typical. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I appreciate everyone who has subscribed to my channel. And I also appreciate all the kind comments and the tips and suggestions for future videos. So thanks for watching.